my name is Alicia for those of you guys who are just tuning in for the first time and welcome back to everybody else. Hope everyone had a safe new year and holiday time with their families. So this is my very first video of 2018. Today I'm going to be doing the demo and review on these Sephora Collection Lip Story lipsticks. These are brand new. They launched in stores December 27th and I am here to show you how beautiful they are. I am wearing one of the lipsticks here which is my favorite which is the Golden Gate. This is all the swatches that I have on my hand. Um, I basically got attacked. Yes, I just wiped this with a regular napkin so you can kind of already tell the color payoff is pretty legit. It's also very affordable. I mean, the texture is truly amazing. So if you guys are interested on this demo and review, then please keep on watching. So before we get started, I'm gonna start the new year off right by supporting my girl. This candle here was made by my girl Issa. She custom made this candle for me. I love, love grapefruit. So this is grapefruit and I believe the wax is a soy base. And I think there's another citrus in here. Um, I'm not too sure, I have to ask her. But this was handmade and packaged by her. So we're just gonna open this and light this up while we do this video. Oh! Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this. This smells so, so yummy. Let's just see how this burns though. No, I'm just kidding girl. I'm always messing with her, but I love her. She's so sweet. So we're just gonna leave that there burning in the background so we can smell this delicious scent while we do this video. All right guys, so I'm just gonna jump into it. And also a little disclaimer here, my lips are a bit crusty. Um, yes, my lips are a bit crusty right now because it is winter. There's a little piece that kind of peeled off because it was dry and you know when it's dry you kind of pick at it. I know you shouldn't be doing that, but maybe I did it in my sleep. I have no idea. So I just put a little bit of a Jack Black lip balm with no color because I want to see the color payoff with all the swatches here. Oh my gosh, I can't even hold them. So these are all the lippies that I got. It launched on December 28th in stores. That's when I purchased these. These value at $8 each. They are the Sephora Collection Lip Story lipsticks and they come in matte, metal, and cream finishes. I personally like more cream than mattes unless if my lips are nicely exfoliated then I can go for the mattes but at this moment some of the matte swatches may not look so smooth because once again it's a little crusty. I bought 12 shades. I know my husband's gonna kill me. Literally we were talking in the car before the New Year's ended about our New Year's resolution. So aside from our normal New Year's resolutions is like lose weight, da da da, all that stuff. We were talking about how we didn't want to purchase things that we didn't really need. So basically, we are trying to establish a larger savings by the end of this year just so that we have money in the long run and we don't have to worry about not having money when we're older and so and so. To be fair, I did purchase this in 2017, now it's 2018, so I am still mindful of what I am spending, so yeah. But you guys have to understand that I live for this stuff. I love demo reviewing new products, so I can give you my honest feedback, whether it's good for you or good for me or maybe not. I don't waste a product or I don't return it, I still keep it so I can use it towards my makeup kit, so. It kind of goes hand in hand. But anyways, I'm just rambling on. Let's just go ahead and get started with this demo and review. Once again, this is the newest items of the Sephora collections. They are called the Lip Stories and it's cute because the signs actually has hashtag Lip Stories. Here is a brief description from the Sephora website. This is lipstick for real life, not just ring lights. Lipsticks for celebrations, the wild adventures, best moments, and magical memories in your life. So grab a shade or four and take your lipstick outside. See you out there. <laughs> it's so cute. What this is, is a high pigment, lightweight lipstick that provides full coverage color in one swipe. Can you believe it? In one swipe. We are going to test that out. It is available in 40 different shades, three finishes, matte, cream, and metal. This is so cute. So on the website, they have like different shades for different categories. They have holidays, which is number 11, 44, 10, 48. Lady business, which are cities and I guess like landmarks. So 45, 27, 9, and 47. Global citizen, and they just have all these things here. Hashtag throwbacks. Oh my God, these are so cute. I didn't really look into this, but oh my gosh. They have all the colors for different categories and it just is really cool. As you see in the beginning clips of my videos, it has landmarks, it has places, buildings, just all these different things. It's so cute. 
So I'm just checking on my candle and it's only in the center, so it's not quite ready, but let's see. No, not yet. So I have a lot of shades to go through, so no particular order. I'm just gonna grab whichever is in front of me. Here's the first one, which is number 26. This one here has like little laundry mats going on here. It does remind me of living in the city because a lot of people live in apartments or places that doesn't have it, so they always go out to the laundry mat. So this is kind of cool. The majority of the lipsticks that I got were actually matte, and I did not purposely choose that. It's just the colors that actually were attractive to me. The application was so creamy when I was swatching in the store that it didn't feel like a true matte. So I think that's why I was like, I'm getting it. Anyways, we're gonna swatch this one. See that? It's so creamy that it doesn't feel like a true matte. I would say that this is a semi-matte finish. The package is you know, plastic like it normally should for $8. I mean, it's really cute. I like how they have this little cardboard kind of thing and I think it's recycled products. I, I don't know, I'm assuming it would be. It's not like a fancy package, but for $8, once again, it's very affordable. I like this because it has pictures on there. I think it's so adorable and cute. If you look closely, they actually say hashtag matte or whichever the finish is of that lipstick, which is so cute. But let's just go ahead and try this on. I hope the dryness of my lips is not going to affect it. I should have just did one swipe as it says, which it actually does give you high pigment color payoff in one swipe. I think I was just trying to make it nice and smooth and the line wasn't crooked. Number 26 in the matte formulation. This next one is so cute. It has chocolate chip cookies on them. So this here is a cream formulation. Ooh, look at that. It's just as creamy, highly pigmented as the matte formulation. It looks very promising. It looks very dark. We're hoping that the cream finish is just as creamy as the matte and a good color payoff. Yes. <laughs> this is number 10 in a cream formulation. This next one is on a beach with little footprints. Ooh, this is such a pretty nude. I love how it's so cool toned. It's kind of like, it's a good neutral. This actually is pretty close to the color 106 in the Givenchy semi-mattes. We'll see how it looks on my lips. No, it's a little lighter. Oh, this is such a beautiful color though. May need some exfoliation because you can see the lines on my lips. Definitely a beautiful color, but I don't think it works for my complexion. When I swatched it on my hand at the store, it was really pretty, still looks pretty on my hand, but on me, eh, not so much. This is number seven in a matte formulation. Ooh, this is cute. It looks like a barn door with a lock on it. This is another matte. See, I'm telling you, I grabbed so many colors that were in a matte formulation, but again, it was so creamy that I was like, this is so good. And I was like, ooh, I got like majority mattes. Another purpley color. Ooh, this is very purpley. I can't wait to see this on my lips. <laughs> this reminds me of the Sephora collection Frosted Strawberry, but with a punch. This is another matte formulation in number 38. This one's so cute. It reminds me of a carousel. Um, not a unicorn because it doesn't have that horn here, but it's so cute. It just reminds me of being a kid again. So this one here is in a metal. Yay, it's my first metal. So it's very frosty and I think this is gonna be very nice. I think this will be a good color to use as a topper and alone. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a soft, dusty rose. Look at that, with a nude base. Mm, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this totally reminds me of high school days. I used to always buy the frosted MAC lipsticks that has this, but it's so smooth and hydrating. I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of weird. It's like overcast and the sun is just going in and out. Once again, this is another color to definitely exfoliate before putting on, or you can use this as a topper. But either way, the color is so beautiful here. I love it. This one is number 41 in metal. 
This one looks like it's in financial district. I want to give a shot and say it's New York because if you look at this bottom structure, it reminds me of that one building in New York. I don't know what it is. I'm sure some of you guys may know, but this is the first thing that pops into my head. And I think it's a bank. So here's another matte color and this looks like a really pretty rusted kind of brown. Ooh, it's kind of like a brown red. That frost color before this actually left a lot of residue around my mouth, so please don't mind that. As I'm trying all these matte finishes, they are truly amazing. They're very comfortable to wear the lips. They're not drying. They don't skip. They go on very smooth. I'm starting to like this. So this is number nine in a matte finish. So far, my lips are holding up. A little chapped but it's not the lipstick's fault, it's me. I don't have any negativities on these lipsticks yet except for that frosty residue that leaves behind uh, when you're wiping it off. This one is wee, like the French says. And the clothing on here, you can tell it's just like how it was back in the olden days. It's so cute. And this is the first color that actually caught my eye. So this is like a pinky nude rosy color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yes, girl. Mm-hmm. This is such a beautiful color, and it came out just as beautiful as I applied it on. If any of you guys are looking for that pinky, neutral, nude lip, and you're like my complexion golden medium undertones, this will be the perfect shade, as you can see. Number three in a cream finish. This one looks like a diner. Oh, they actually have little names on the side. This one says malt shake. So hence the diner picture, malt shake, get it? Yes, that's how the two names pair together. This one here is a cream finish and it looks like a really dark berry color. Ooh. I'm scared to try this on. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not too dark. Actually, it looks really brown, but swatched my hand, it looks very berry. So I'm hoping it has like a cherry kind of look. Not too vampy. This is such a beautiful color. Sorry, the application isn't 100% just because my lips have a little texture. So it's kind of going over that textured area. Mmm. This is number 29 in cream. Oh, this reminds me of Tangled when they're lighting up the lanterns for her birthday and then they start singing All those days watching from the windows <laughs> Whatever, but this is what it reminds me of Ooh, This is like a really pretty coppery bronzy metal color. I hope it's not too frosty Not at all I love this bronzy color, guys. What do you think? It's not so frosty. It has a lot more pigment than I thought. The very first metal that I tried was just like so frosty and glittery all over the place. This is number 51 in a metal finish. However, it still leaves like a whole bunch of residue on your lips. I mean, I could have used a makeup wipe to do this. That would probably help. Look at that highlight on my lip. All right, I have four more to go. So this one here I had to get. It says taxi and in Chinese it also says taxi, which reads Dixie. I know it sounds like, you know, a men's part, but it's not. <laughs> so I was like, I have to get this one. And this one here has like a cranberry twist to it. Oh my gosh, I have no more space on my hand. Look at that. I love that cranberryness. I wish this came out during the holidays, during Christmas time, so I can wear it to my holiday parties or places I was going to. This would have paired really well. That cranberry eye look that I created, I used the Smashbox Crimson, but this would just have done just as good. But, you know, you can't have it all. It picked a perfect shade for this one. This is so pretty. I know earlier this year, metallic eyeshadows and lips were like the trend. And then somehow it just kind of faded. I think they're going to come back. So what do you guys think? This is number 27 in a metal finish. This one has a picture of an airplane seat and it's called First Class. This is like a beautiful orangey red. Look at that. That is an insane color. So I noticed that the colors I grabbed were just all these neutrals, you know, berry nudes color. Like it's a little best of both worlds. They did offer some purples and blues and greens that I didn't really get. Just didn't 
feel like I would wear them a lot. I really do love this color. It's so pretty. I tend to not wear these as much, these red oranges or oranges, because they tend to make my teeth a bit yellow looking. However, the color is really, really pretty. This is number 25 in a matte finish. Oh, this one's cute. It's like holiday or Christmas lights. Kind of like the lights I have here, but um, it has like a rainbow colored light here. This middle finish is a different shade than everything else. As you saw, all the colors I had were neutral warms and like cool undertones. This one here is my first colored meaning green. So we'll see how pigmented this is versus frost. Oh, it's kind of like a green gray, huh? Green. This color definitely looks really metal. <laughs> kind of looks like foil. It's kind of green silver-ish. I don't think I have the true color from this swatch just because, again, I have a whole bunch of colors underneath and by wiping it, maybe the blood is rushing up to the surface of my lips. That's Oh, it definitely makes my teeth really yellow, number one. It looks really berry and purpley. This is number 48 in a metal finish. Okay, last but not least, I saved the best for last. You guys know I'm a San Francisco native. I had to get the classic signature lipstick, which is the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. This is my last matte finish. Again, everything is like matte. This has a very beautiful, promising purpley color. Not too dark and berry like the other shades, but I feel like it has a little bit more of a rosiness to it. You see how pretty that is? That's not streak. That was just part of my knuckle that was in the way, so it wasn't an even application. But I mean, so far, look at all these lipsticks on my hands. They're so, so highly pigmented. So let's just see how this last matte finish completes my demo and review. So what bugs me is that I still have a little bit of that glitteriness, but I did wipe off most of it. I truly love this color. I believe this color is a happy medium of like these colors here, like this one here and these two and this guy. So this one here is my final lipstick swatch. It's number 31 also in a matte finish. Okay, by this time this candle should be melted by now. It's almost there. I don't want to pour the wax out, but as you can see, it still has this bottom part to be melted, but it should be enough to smell it. I mean, it's been about 30, 40 minutes. Mm, I smell a little bit of it, but I think it needs just a little bit more burning. So that is it for my demo and review, guys. What do you guys think of all the colors? Don't you think they're so pretty? Again, I did not buy every single one of them. I just bought the ones that really caught my eye. I wanted to try some more purpley colors just because it's still winter so we can find that perfect berry color. Some of the nudes here are really pretty. The metal finishes were just a little bit too frosty for me, so I was just like, uh, it was a little too much. But out of all the metal ones, I did like the number 51 and also because I was singing, you know? It didn't have that much frost frostiness. It had more pigment. It still left a lot of residue when I wiped it off, but you know, they weren't that bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this demo and review on these brand new Lip Story lipsticks by Sephora Collection. That was a mouthful. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful in any way. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. I do have a lot more content coming up for the new year. I'm having my brush cleaner video as well as some Inglot and some other new things that I wanted to try out for you guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying your 2018. Please comment below your favorite lipstick. All right, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!